from SPG Estonia, Vimla, Tartu Fight Sport Gym. And I'm addressing today a few controversies uh, about uh, the traditional Gracie guard break from the knees. Uh, there has been banter between uh, Keenan Cornelius and, and uh, Henry Aikins. Uh, but there are two counter pressures from closed guard which I've never seen addressed. Uh, which help to keep the closed guard if you want to fight from the closed guard and which help to uh, negate the opening from the knees. I'm not saying opening from the knees is impossible. You've seen Hoja Gracie do it, uh, Wilson Hayes, but uh, there are ways to counter the traditional Gracie guard break and I'm going to share you uh, these tips which I've never seen addressed in any instructional or, or seminar. So first of all, if I'm sitting here, uh, uh, back straight and hip tucked in, uh, all is good, I can uh, negate the pull. People always uh, tell the bottom person to pull and this can be uh, quite easily countered. So but when I'm assuming this grip here, I'm ensuring myself against the pull, right? This is in the middle and also uh, ensuring myself against the sit-up. So this is also, it's hard for him to, to come up and, and if he opens his legs for a hip pump, I can counter with my hips forward, right? So, when I'm using the knee wedge now, so I'm bringing my knee in between the legs and assuming the posture here to break the guard with my grip here, uh, the worst thing he could do is uh, open his legs and try to attack for a, I don't know, triangle or whatever, because I have good control here, I can pull myself back into combat base and I have opened the guard. So he has to keep in mind that in all cases he has to keep his guard closed as long as possible. No attacks which require opening the legs, because I'm already having the initiative. So he needs to break my posture, break my initiative first. How does he do that? Two, as I said, two details which I've never seen addressed before in, in uh, any open instructional is that whenever I start to use the knee wedge, I'm here in my base and posture, I start to use the knee wedge, it kind of makes a, um, almost like an ab crunch and tilts his hip bone up, his tailbone up and he can ride up my knee wedge here. It's very, very hard to fixate, uh, fixate my knee in place here because uh, even though I have pressure down on the hip here and up on the upper body here, he can still just like, basically it's like a uh, ab crunch. Not only does he lift his uh, shoulders, but he lifts his hips and he rides up like that. And if he keeps doing that, it's pretty much impossible uh, to keep the knee wedge. The second detail is even when I have the knee wedge and I start to turn my body to open the uh, guard, Everybody says here that, okay, if I have locked my hand in here and, and turned elbow in, it's hard to pull this arm away. And yes, it's, it's quite impossible if I have my posture correct here. But you don't have to pull it. Uh, you don't have to pull the person in. I have my frame here. I have my good structure here. You can't pull, but you can't push. So you just frame, you just frame with a palm or even like two palms, force of two hands and straight into the fingers. And that forces, that forces my uh, hand away from this position. And now I can't apply anymore uh, this directional pressure which I need to open the leg. And if you use both at the same time, so you try to ride up the knee and, I, and keep pushing here, I don't get this structure anymore which allows me to hold him in place. Uh, and he can keep himself close to me. See, his hips are high, and now he can deal with the directional frame here. He can start to pull that away, either to this side, and I need to reset, or to this side, for an arm bar or back take, or whatever. So, if you want to keep the closed guard for longer, curl your hips in, ride up the tailbone, up the knee wedge, you can block the knee wedge like that. And don't try to pull the other person, but push always when he takes a grip here, or even like a no-gi variation, if I'm just starting to apply pressure here, don't try to pull this arm away. Push it in. Push it in, 
It also almost creates a finger or a wrist lock here, very uncomfortable pressure and this notches the elbow just so slightly so I can't use the good direction for opening the legs. Curl your tailbone, push the arm in. What is good about Jiu Jitsu is that you can now go and test it. Take uh, your training partners, first pick somebody your own size, try it, then go towards uh, bigger partners and uh, more experienced uh, training partners. Have them try, open your uh, closed guard from your knees. Keep in mind, always ride up the knee wedge and push in the arm, don't pull, push it in, keep your legs closed and you can uh, more easily uh, neutralize the guard breaks from the knees.